Are you ready to create some Christmas magic and make your home look extra special? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I am Sam and welcome to the Ellie Rose Party Designs community. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make a customized Elf on the Shelf arrival mailbox using our printable. It's super duper easy and takes no time at all. Plus, it will put a big smile on your little one's faces. The perfect way to welcome your elf from the North Pole. Alrighty, to get started, we're going to be using um, a software called Canva. Now, you can use whatever software you prefer. The files that I am offering in the download is a PNG, a JPEG, and a PDF file. So if you want to use something like Cricut or um, Cricut Design Space or Silhouette Studio, um, the choice is yours. So what we're going to do is, um, in this video, I'm actually going to show you how to do the editing part in Canva. Alrighty, so to get started, you can either click on to custom size or upload. I'm just going to click on custom size. And I'm just going to use a, a recent size, which is um, 8.5 by 11 inches. And you can do it on the top here and just change that to inches. Or like I said, the other option is you can use the upload button. But I find it a little bit easier just creating my template first which is there and then we're going to upload our design and to do that we're just going to go to upload and you're going to download it click and you're going to drag it into here so find where you have um, saved your file all right and there it is there and i'm just going to click and i'm going to drag it to the actual size of my template okay and as long as your template is the correct size which is um, 8.5 then this will work perfect in there too okay so let's zoom in a little bit by clicking down here and i'm going to just drag it forward and there it is now we're going to go to our text and we're going to click on to add a heading and it will pop up your um your letters and then we're going to go over here and i am just going to search for something that i want to use um let's go with this noto okay and i might change the color to probably this color all right and then let's change it to whatever you want to say so i could say um you can save both children if you wanted to if you're going to only have one um image sorry one printable all right there or if you feel you rather want to um have more than that if you want to have um, one printable for each child because you're going to have these are going to go on to something that's like a, um, a favor box then you can always just use change that to just one person and let's make it a little bit bigger all right and put that in the middle okay um, and then you can obviously have Let's go here, let's see, let's go here and let's duplicate that and let's bring it down to here. And then we can maybe add Sam. All right, so you do get three per page. All right, so if you don't want the three per page, then it's up to you. All right, and that is how pretty much how simple and easy it is to just edit it and customize it yourself. All righty, but that is pretty much it. And then once you have customized your design, you would then just um, download it and then print it off. So my suggestion would be either printing it on um, maybe some adhesive paper, so something that has like a sticky background, um, maybe like sticker paper. Um, you, can, you can get that at, you know, pretty much all the office shops, um, stationery shops, um, or you can just do use normal printing paper and then just glue the background and then just place it on to your gable box or maybe on an envelope or whatever gift you want to give your kids as a um, an, an elf arrival 
um, gift um, idea. All right, so to download it, all you're going to do is click on the share button and you are just going to click download and you're going to download it as either a JPEG, PNG file, um, oopsie, or a PDF file. So I would normally use it as if I'm going to be printing it straight away, I would just download it as a PDF file. And that is pretty much it. But other than that, so this was a quick and easy tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and you will give it a go. Please make sure to share with me. If you do decide to use these designs, share them with my Facebook group. I love seeing what you guys make with my printables. Um, and that is it. So until the next video, take care, guys. Bye.